Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teague with Toyota Jeff Reviews. We've got two different popular 2024 Tundras. Today's volunteers, we've got, woo! This is a limited that's been really beefed up and upgraded. It's in Lunar Rock. And this one here, this is the Platinum in Lunar Rock. The point of this video is to not only show the differences between a limited and a Platinum, but really to show how you can beef up a limited to become real close to what a Platinum is. My friend Gage bought this one this week, the Limited over on the other side. I've got the Platinum as a press vehicle from Toyota USA. So we're gonna walk around this one. This one is standard except for automatic running boards and automatic bed stop. This one here has a lot of upgrades to it, the Limited. Has the TRD off-road package. You'll find that it has multimedia upgrade, panoramic roof upgrade, there's a lot more. I'll show you in the window stickers so we can just see how you can beef one up, pimp it out to be incredible. Normally I show the window stickers at the end of the videos, but it's important to show it now because we've got the Platinum here. It's a four by four Crew Max, five foot bed. There's the fuel mileage for the four by four. And then standard features. I'm doing this one in 0.5, by the way, because it's such small print that they gave me. They both have the 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque, the twin turbo, 10-speed automatic transmission. The lighting's going to be a little bit different. Actually, the Platinum has a lot more features than the Limited does. But here's the deal is it costs more. So this is what we have to balance out, my friends. 68705 we got to add in the... Delivery, this one has $13.50 for the automatic steps that I told you about and running boards. So this one is at $71. Watch what happens with the Limited. Limited Crew Max 4x4, 5 foot bed, Lunar Rock. Both made in San Antonio. Excellent safety ratings. Here's the fuel mileage. What you'll have to do is probably look at the window stickers side by side. They both have Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 so that you can compare. Normally it has 20 inch alloy wheels. It's been upgraded to the TRD wheels, 20 inch. The multimedia is different. This normally has nine speakers. It's been upgraded to JBL. So this one instead of 68 starts at 56 for the first two numbers. So take a look here. What's been added? The audio, the premium package with the premium lighting and the tow technology. That's standard on our friend Platinum. Then this TRD off-road package, it's huge. So much on it. Yeah, oh, we've got the uh, wireless charging as well. Okay, there's the prices. And the skid plate and the moonroof. So a lot of upgrades. Takes it from 56 to 63 just with these features. And then this has the Predator drop steps, spray and bed liner, bed step, Floor mats and the Tundra tailgate inserts from the regional assembly port. Ho ho, look at this one, 68145. Going inside the Limited with the TRD off-road package, we're gonna see some upgrades because it's TRD off-road. Beautiful interior here. This has no rear heated seats, but the Platinum does standard. Just letting you know, this is soft tech seating. Here we go. Lots of room back here. It has USBs, 400 watts of power, seat pockets, panoramic roof. Remember that was upgraded after the fact from the factory, it's not stock. Inside our friend Limited, storage pockets, gloss black accents here. Gonna do most of the filming from the other side because of the sun. It does have the 14 inch screen, but remember this is nine speakers, it's not the JBL 12 speaker system, has power seat for passenger with two-way lumbar support, technical camo under here. Both of these vehicles are going to be lived in, me because I've had the press car for a week and my friend Gage because he just bought it and well, frankly, he's just driving it. We drove it to the fireworks and back, the whole families, both of our families. Drive modes, tow haul, multi-terrain select, crawl mode. Now this is because it has the off-road package on it. 
There's locking rear differential too. Electronic parking brake, brake hold, dual temperature controls, heated and cooled seats in the front, but remember not in the rear. What does the driver's side of Limited have in store? Power mirrors. I see memory seats over here. Excellent, excellent. Two-way lumbar support with the power driver seat. Just a great looking interior. Engage head upgrade from uh, Tundra SR5 with the XP Predator package on it, or maybe it was the Gunner package, to this one here, limited with TRD off-road package. That's a great upgrade. He loves it so far. Ooh, leather wrapped steering wheel, 12.3 inch gauge display. Do you want to adjust your seat position? I'll say no, but look here, it's got the navigation system over the air updates, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, nice chunky dials here for the volume. And we just kind of tweak those right there. Digital rear view mirror, sunglass holder. All in all, it's a great vehicle. Do you like the Limited so far? Platinum, looking good. Looking good. And remember, everything inside here is gonna be stock. So it has black with blue accents. And then instead of gloss black, it's going to have more of the metallic accents along with silver. I see heated and I see cooled seats in the back. That's standard. The power outlets, we'll see them in use. That's how they've been used. Leather seats instead of soft tech seating on the Limited. This one right here does not have under seat storage. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. I'll bet I... Oh, I can. Okay, because it's the iForce Max, the hybrid, does not have underseat storage. That's reserved for our friend, hybrid battery. Nickel metal hydride, anyone? Beautiful. As we go into the passenger front side, I wanna show you something. Some would call this bougie. There's me. I bought a second iPhone because this would always overheat. This is the 14 Pro I'm now filming with. This is the 15 Pro. I got the 15 Pro because if it heats up like this in a 98 degree day, like it is, like the boy band, 98 degrees, then I can easily, instead of having to immediately cool it down, I can just switch phones. And I know that sounds bougie and extra and over the top, but it's for situations just like this one. That would happen to me at events. Look at this right here. It has four-way lumbar support on the Platinum. This is leather seats. Remember we said that? Sometimes people watch the videos in different sections, so maybe you didn't hear me say that the first time. Heated seats, cooled seats, digital, fireball. Now see, this doesn't have, because the Limited had the off-road package, this one doesn't have your off-roading tools like crawl mode, multi-terrain select, and locking rear differential. And the driver's side is gonna have on platinum, power, mirrors, memory seats, heated steering wheel. This is for the automatic steps right here. See, they're off, they're on. Power steering wheel, four-way lumbar support. It was on the passenger side. You didn't think it was gonna be on the driver's side? I don't think so. All right, here we go. Fun times, 12.3 inch screen, 14 inch screen. All in all, it's beautiful. I love that digital rear view mirror, super nice. They both have that back window here, which everybody wants. And we're glad that we saw on the new 4Runner, something you had to have, isn't it? Isn't it? This is really interesting because number one, we've got the upgraded TRD Toyota Heritage Grill. It's got the front camera, LED fog lights, front parking sensors. That means it has rear parking sensors. Normally this has the LED lighting with manual leveling. It's been upgraded to the premium lighting. Might look the same as this one right here. Auto leveling on the Platinum. That is cool. I love the sequential turn signals here. Front parking sensors, rear parking sensors. Look at the grill design. It's the dark chrome along with the accent piece here. Sometimes people think it's subtle, but actually it's quite pronounced. 
Super cool. So we'll go around to the side of limited TRD off-road package, remember? So we've got, instead of 20 inch alloy wheels, we've got 20 inch TRD wheels. Has the Bilstein shocks down there. Gloss black accents on the side. Turn signal indicator has blind spot monitor, matte black around the A-pillar, gloss black around the C. C is for cookie and that's good enough for me. So we've got gloss black handles along with the color coded, the Predator step bars, that's part of the off-road package. Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires, I like it. And then the back here, we've got sequential LED turn signals. We can hit this button to drop it down, it has the spray on bed liner, and it's got a bed step that's been added to it like that. And you can just retract it that way. If you hadn't thought of that, I'm sure you have. 400 watts of power, bell, bed lights, can you say it, tie downs, deck rail system. I used the deck rail system on mine, belonged to Gage, but then I took it camping and it worked fantastic. Gloss black here, we've got lots of camera angles. That's one of the beauties of the new Tundra, camera angles for the bed, the trailering for the Platinum. What's different? Well, I've got color keyed up here for the side mirror. This has these beautiful dark gray, and you'll see that a lot on the Platinum. A lot of gloss accents. They could be dark gray, they could be black. 20 inch wheels here. Has the adaptive variable suspension. Platinum. See, gloss. See that? That's the same. That's the same gloss black on the pillars. There's the kimchi. Hey, Kimchi. Kimchi's my buddy. He and I play tag all the time. I love dogs. Automatic board. See, this is a little lived in here because I've been camping. Backup sensors though. Open that up. This one does not have the spray on liner. It's got that aluminum reinforced composite bed, 400 watts of power, still lighting, deck rail system, cameras and action. By the way, they're building a gorgeous back porch. I'm so excited for when they're done so we can have happy hour there. Thanks everyone so much for watching. How would you do it? Would you go stock with a Limited? Would you beef it up like this one is? It's beefy, it's cool. It's really jazzed up. And it became a Platinum in a way. So would you just choose the Platinum stock? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'm at Toyota Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. And then my second channel looks at all brands, including Toyota and Lexus, that's Auto Jeff Reviews. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook, and I'll see you guys there. If you love our favorite full-size truck, check out the Tundra playlist. Remember, I've got my playlist broken down by model, so if you want RAV4 content, new 4Runner, Land Cruiser, whatever you want, Camry, it's all there. Thanks, guys. Bye.